Hey everyone, welcome back to Made with Matt. Today we're going to be starting the React Native version of this design that we worked on in my first video. So we made this with Figma and I'll link it down below. But basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up a new React Native project from scratch. We'll do it in VS Code. We need to get the fonts from our design into our code. So here we see that it's Montserrat. Uh, the third thing we're going to need to do is add our custom colors, which we have here, our color palette, and set up some icons. So let's jump right into it with the first step. To get our React Native project set up, we'll jump into the terminal of VS Code and type in npx react native init, and we'll call it food app UI. No spaces, no dashes, click enter, and then we'll just wait for this to load. Once the loading is complete of the init command, you'll see a folder here called food app UI. If you pop it open, this is everything you need for a React Native project template. So let's open app.js and here we'll see there's already some stuff in there. Um, so first thing we'll do, we'll type in ls and we'll jump into food app UI. So cd food app UI, great. So next thing we'll do is we'll run the app. So I'm personally using a Mac and I'll be using an iOS simulator, but if you were using Android, you would just type in Android. So run the command. Here we can see that the React Native project has been set up and is running on our simulator. We can scroll, we can click things. Uh, so this is the simulator and right underneath we have the Metro terminal. Here, this is basically our, our terminal for the app. So anytime you console log anything in here, you're going to see it here. We could also reload the app clicking R. You got to reload the app, which is good for sometimes when you make some changes. But uh, let's jump right into our first step, which is setting up the fonts. So we want our custom fonts. To do this, we can go to Google Fonts. And in our case, we're using Montserrat. So let's look that up. Montserrat, Pick the first one here. Um, we're using a mix of regular, bold, bold, semi-bold, and medium. So let's add those. We'll download them all. Open the zip file. So here we see once we download the Montserrat font, we have all the different variations. As we mentioned, we only want a few of them like bold, semi-bold, medium, and regular. So what we're going to do is we'll click our food app UI, create a new folder, and call this one assets. Within our assets folder, we'll create another folder called fonts. So in fonts, we'll drag in the font variations that we want. So we want bold, we would also like semi-bold, medium, and regular. Let's drag those in. Next thing we're going to do once we have the fonts here in the fonts folder, which is in the assets folder, we need to add a file, which you can find just by looking it up. Um, so I'm going to look up, add custom font to React Native. It's one of my recent ones. Click the first link here and i believe it's a react native config file yeah there we go so i'm just going to copy this add it in the root folder paste it in great we can close that and now we can use our fonts. Let's go ahead and test out our font. So here in the section title, we could go font family and try Montserrat regular. Let's save that. Here we see we have unrecognized font family. So we might've missed one step, which is to link all the assets. So we run npx react native link try that again. Now, if it's still not working, this might be because of the node modules. So what we'll do, click this folder here, node modules, right click it and delete it. Next, we'll run npm 
install. And once that's done, let's run npm run iOS once again. Now we can see that our Montserrat font has been applied. So let's remove it. Let's try it again. See the difference? Perfect. So that's it for our fonts. Our fonts are good to go. We can reference them by writing font family, Montserrat regular. We can say bold. We can, that's already bolded here. So let's comment that out. We could say bold. We can say regular again, semi bold and medium. Now the next step once we've finished the fonts is to add colors. Adding colors is super simple. We're gonna go back into our assets folder here. We'll create a new folder called colors. Within this folder, we'll create a file called colors.js. And here we'll create a const colors, which will be an object and export that object. So let's jump back to our Figma palette here for our colors. So the first one's gonna be background. And this one's going to be this hex value. So for hex values, just put a hashtag in front of it. Next one is gonna be text, the dark text. We see we have a dark text and a light text. So let's call this one text dark. This one's going to be zero three. And we're just gonna do this for each one. Once that's done, let's save it. Let's jump back to app.js. And right here, let's import colors from. And here we'll do assets, colors, colors. Save that. Jump back towards the bottom where we added our font family, Montserrat Medium. Uh, instead of color, colors.black here, with this is the default React Native colors. Let's add our own. So colors dot, and let's try secondary because that's really going to pop out. There we go. So now our colors are set up. The final step of this video is adding icons. So what we'll do is we'll go here, look up React Native Vector Icons. Click the first link here, which is the GitHub link. Go to installation and we can copy and paste this, which is just the NPM installation for the React Native Vector Icons. Now that we have it installed, we can test it out. So let's look for examples. And let's copy and paste one of their basic examples. So here we'll paste that right under our colors. And we can copy this as well, which is the actual icon. Um, and let's put that right here, right above the body and under the header. So let's see if this works. So we get a common error here that says unrecognized font family Ionicons. To fix that, what we're gonna do is we'll write icon, because that's the name of our variable, dot load font. Save that, and there we go. That should work. Let's see, let's reload our app. Same error. We see here that even though we added this line here, the error went away, but we still can't see the icon. And the reasoning for this is because we didn't, here we can see that it installed React Native vector icons. So if we go back and reload this, we'll need to rebuild the iOS project. And once it's reloaded, we can see that the icon does appear. So now we're good to go. Our project is set up. And in the next video, we'll start coding the UI of the homepage.